Can you hear me? Always. Nice. How are you? Mr. Finland in Las Vegas. How, 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 does it, uh, how does it feel? You don't get to come over and fight on, on this side very often. Yeah, it, it feels good. It feels good, especially when you know that you have made big changes since the last fight and uh, can't wait to perform. What has been the, the change? What's, the, what's been the big focus? Obviously, it didn't go your way last time. That was a, a big moment for you. What, what has been the change since? Well, after that fight, uh, I got a question, and the question was that where was the, what was the problem? Why we didn't get the win? And the answer was the same like in all the other fights too. Not only the ones that I have lost, but the ones that I have won. And I said I'm too light for that division. Yeah, so I had a proper three months of, you know, training uh, with weightlifting, uh, Olympic weightlifting, and I haven't touched weight in ever. So all the power that I have gained have come from wrestling. And so it was a really a big, big difference since I came back from the, this uh, period of doing weights and powerlifting. So then I realized that now when the power and the level at with this power is at the point, and that combined with the great technique, uh, that's deadly. And that's why I'm so excited because it wasn't that I had a bad condition and so on. It was just that the guys were a bit bigger than me and I had to push more than you know, normal featherweight guy. But and yeah, that was the big change that I have done. And yeah, I came up with my own gym, yeah, MA training set there. So actually I live behind the wall. When there is 40 meters to the gym, uh, it's easily I spend there like eight hours a day. So it has been a huge difference. Let's say that before the Barbosa fight I had three three sparrings day, no, in the whole camp I had three sparrings and uh, now basically I live in a gym. That's awesome. Yeah. So is there, a new, is, there, is there a new team around you? I mean, are you working with different coaches or is it just yourself? Well, uh, I have a lot of friends and training partners in Finland and uh, since I had my own gym, then there was my rules and uh, Whatever I was planning in my head, I, uh, now it came true. And I had my brothers, my family, my masseuse, uh, nutritionist, everybody lives next to me. So it was good. It, it was necessary that I went to Ireland, to uh, Sweden, to see how people train and so on. And still I will go when I have time. But now everything seems to be the way it should be. That's awesome. So how would you classify your career so far, right? Because I feel like you've had all this potential, right? Your great skill, great personality, but maybe it hasn't delivered on what you expected. So how would you classify your career so far? Uh, I post a picture on my social media and I wrote that first fight of my professional career. So this time, I actually feel like professional fighter. And all, all these fights before, you know, I had a lot of people hanging around uh, and too many distractions and uh, I wasn't paying that much of respect to my work and to my job that I had. And yeah, there was a it was it was a great wake up call after Barbosa fight. Not, I had my corner man who was uh, who was like a little brother to me, and he was crying at the hotel. And I said like, why are you crying? And he said, yeah, 
we lost and I said no man now I know what do I do next and here I am and I can't wait to go there and perform and I'm I don't try to sound like the Mark one is always talking big things and uh, sometimes I deliver sometimes I don't but to be honest you know the whole game has changed in in my perspective so I can't wait that's awesome so this feels like a big moment for you then, right? Like it's uh, like like a new chapter almost. Yeah, well, uh, it feels like I have woke up. Yeah, and in all aspects, like not just uh, training, like everything in my life, like has changed since the last fight. And I was always planning this, but I didn't have the opportunity. But somehow. You know, I found the gym, and then I was like, yeah, maybe I will take this uh, uh, hall that I was renting, about to rent. Then the landlord, she said that, yeah, we are building an uh, apartment next to the gym. And I was like, oh, okay, now we are talking. Awesome. And yeah, my mom, my family, everybody lives next to the gym. So basically we are there all the time. I don't see any reason why should I spend time in my living room when I have 350 square meters of gym next to me. So we are there all the time. And yeah, like I said, before the Barbosa fight, I was training maybe 80% of condition strength and 20% was only the MMA. And now it's opposite. And that's what makes everything so excited. That's awesome. Exciting. Did, did the sport just come easy to you? Do you feel like you're taking it seriously now? Like before it was just like, ah, oh, this yeah, is easy. Yeah. Like I can do this. You can read me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember telling my friend and he always remind me that I told him when he said that why why MMA, I said just uh, pocket money because of that. And I said wrestling and Greg Roman and freestyle wrestling won't feed me and my family. Um, maybe I just try MMA. And before that, I, I always trusted my mind game and my technique so much that I said no problem if somebody's stronger and so on and my idea in my head was that better be light and have a good condition than be you know strong with big muscles but I didn't understand that having power in your muscles that can make even your condition better so and it depends what kind of a power you are gaining there are a lot of exercises but i did the ones that makes me more explosive more speed nice so last thing for me i guess what is the goal here in this fight right i mean obviously you want to win but i mean do you feel like you need to send a message to the world that you know like you're back or is it maybe proving something to yourself like what's what's the goal here well i'm enjoying the life so much at the moment like Never before, haven't been like this. And I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone. I took the fight that they offered me. It was Nate Landwehr that they offered me first. He canceled the fight. Probably a good choice for him. And he said that he is sorry that he messaged me on social media. He said sorry that he he got a injury, but if we could fight after two weeks, so did Andre Feely. My response to both of them and to Sean Shelby was that, no problem, I will take this fight and I will fight after two weeks again. No problem with that. Because in this condi condition and with this kind of a weight cut that it doesn't uh, actually feels like a weight cut for the first time, even though my weight was 85 kg and came down to featherweight again. And did I knew that that's a lot of weight to cut 
So I had to be a professional. I had to get someone who knew, knew about this. And yeah, after that, I said, like, I could fight every week. That's what I did in wrestling. So basically, like, if Nate or Andre Philly is ready, I will fight them after two weeks. And I told Sean Shelby, he said he can't, you know, <laughs> guarantee that I will get the fight. And first of all, I have to go through Kamuela Kirk, but I don't see a problem with that. See you again in two weeks. Thank you. I will <laughs> see you. Just, just a couple quick ones. You said that you had the gym that now you have access and you're always there. Is there any fear of overtraining and possibly peaking at a wrong time since you're at the gym so often? Or is that something that you're keeping in your mind to make sure that you peak at the right time going into uh, to an event? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Before I got announcement of this fight or this date, yeah, I was there maybe too much. But when they said that 5th of June, I said, okay, this requires some people around me. So I contacted some people that made the plan. And they were very uh, serious about the plan. So I didn't want to ruin anything. So I, I was following, following the rules that they gave me. Yeah, I was at the gym. I was uh, coaching still kids and my own team. But it's not a work anymore. I, I love what I'm doing. Uh, I could be there all day. And like I said, my mom, my family lives next to me. So they took really good care that I'm eating all the time. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of things that you can do at the gym. It doesn't necessarily needs to be hard training every time. So uh, I know what you are talking about and I got that cover. And lastly, it seems like your head's in a, in a better spot than, than maybe where you've been ever in the past. Do you feel mentally that you're at ease maybe with yourself and, and where you are in your career more so than maybe ever before? Yes. Uh, glad that some other people see that too because I have seen the change in myself and I, I don't know what has been the reason why all this happened to me, but I don't react to ev everything that happens around me anymore. I don't care that much about, you know, uh, in the beginning of UFC career, I thought that, you know, I have to take care of the, my relatives, my friends, everybody that was around me. So whenever I got something, I always wanted to share so nobody would think anything bad about me. But that was away from my own career. I gave so much energy to people and in a return, they remember only your good acts for a very short time and that that was a big disappointment for me, but in the other hand, they were the one that woke me up. I have to be grateful and thankful for them. I I'm not blaming anybody, but in the end, if I'm not doing okay, I don't feel okay, not the people around me will do okay. So I started to just pay more attention to myself. That sounds great, and lastly, what sort of things do you need to do to make sure that you get your hands raised at the end of the night on, on Saturday? Just be myself and enjoy the show. Uh, there's so many ways to get my hands raised. That's the point. Like, I have to ask my team that is it just me that I'm overthinking that I'm I can't say that I'm cocky, but I, I, like the sparrings and everything went so smoothly. The whole six months went so smoothly. I, I have to confirm my, from my teammates that am I really this good? Uh, what have happened? You know, and 
they are like, no, like, like 10 minutes ago, I, I said to my BJJ coach, I said that so nice to come back and fight when you know you have improved your skills in almost every aspect. And he said the same thing. Yeah, and that's, that's how it should be. Like every fight you step up and you move forward all the time. And that's what it has been. So whatever will happen, I will get my hands raised. Thank you.